Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you made the introduction already. And again, I would like to re reiterate my own personal gratitude and uh, of being allowed to share a uh, platform with such uh, prestigious people. It's really a, an honor for me, and I thank you for it. Uh, I will proceed by simply reading the case. You have it all in front of you, but I will read it uh, again, and then I, what I will do is ask our panelists to comment uh, on it and ex give an ex exposition, their thoughts on it, and then uh, we'll have some give and take uh, questions and so forth. So the case is of a uh, Rabbi Cohen, who is a childless Moel who was hired to do a Brit Milah on the newborn son of a leading Hasidic Rebbe a leading charismatic personality. After the Brit Milah, the Mohel takes the foreskin of the baby, brings it to a laboratory in Israel that specializes in stem cell technology and fertility. Scientists in the laboratory can use biotechnology to transform the cells from the foreskin into sperm-like cells and use them to fertilize the egg of the wife of the Moel and they implant the newly formed embryo into the wife of the Moel. Nine months later, Mrs. Moel delivers Cohen. a, pardon? Mrs. Cohen. Mrs. Cohen, well, Mrs. Cohen Moel, it's a, her maiden name was Moel. Nine months later, she delivers a healthy baby boy whose genetic father is the nine month old son of the Rebbe. Um, what are the legal and halakhic ramifications? Uh, I might just add at this point, and John should correct me if I'm wrong, that something of this sort, not obviously in this scenario with the, with the consent of people, uh, the um, DNA of a man was used in a non-sperm cell, is that correct? Uh, and converted and merged, they performed meiosis to have half the number of chromosomes, and through some electrical current, were able to have the DNA of a human being, male, enter the egg of his wife or girlfriend or whoever, and a child was conceived in this matter, and Cain was born. So this is really not science fiction. This could happen if there would be such a moel who was willing to do such a thing. So the only missing ingredient is the right moel not the scientific technology. We have plenty of charismatic Hasidic rabbis. Um, okay, uh, and now why don't I turn it over then to, uh, do either of you have a preference of beginning? No, oh, Judge, would you like to begin? Oh, that's, that's, okay. Okay. That's, okay. That's, okay. Um, 